seems more like a boy than a grown man do i just stick by him and wait no my love uh best predictor of future behavior is past behavior so what you see is what you get if this is not what you want for a relationship it's time to go here's past behavior so what you see is what you get if this is not what you want for a relationship it's time to go here's past behavior heartbroken i don't know how to handle this uh you just here's way my love get come back queen Come back queen, come back queen, no more assholes, come get coaching. Um, I have what you need to work through your process. I wish I had a magic wand to make it all go away, but I don't. It is a process. Uh, why don't girls like the fact that I can do that? <laughs> because we're not impressed by monkeys. What can I say? Be a man. Men are working, not doing backflips. I asked my boyfriend to delete a girl after they had an inappropriate conversation. Is this controlling? No, but here's what you should have done. You should delete him. They had an inappropriate conversation. In other words, he cheated on you. And your response is to say, you need to get rid of her. Here's the thing. He might do this again. Why wasn't your response to be, no, we had a contract. That contract included monogamy. You broke the contract. I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't care about my feelings. I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who cheats on me. Uh, mm. Ellie, Ellie Marie, you want to come live with me? I'm going to open up the option to join me, guys. Uh, add guests. So I'm opening up the option to join me. Ellie Marie, uh, you want to come do a live chat with me? Just want to say, I got fixed that shit. I love it so far on chapter 10. Love it. Thank you. I appreciate that. I love that. Thank you. Fix that shit. By the way, for all you guys that are watching, Fix That Shit is now an audiobook. You can get it in the link tree in my bio. Uh, don't forget, you can get my books on Amazon. Uh, will he come back, feel guilty for what he did? I feel like I just need an apology to move on. I feel like I just need an apology to move on. Nope, nope. Here's the thing, for what he did, and you want him back for what he did, and you want him back. Uh, so you, you shouldn't be wanting to go backwards. That's one thing, right? You should not be wanting to go backward and you want him back. Uh, so you, you shouldn't be wanting to go backwards. That's one thing, right? You should not be wanting to go backwards. Um, and you needing an apology to go backwards. That's who, uh, be able to move on. That's you being disempowered. If your sense of well-being is in someone else's hands, you are disempowered. You are not empowered. You can give yourself closure. You can absolutely give yourself closure and you can empower yourself to feel better despite what he's done, despite what he's not saying. So don't be disempowered, be empowered. I have to go. Okay, Ellen Marie. What book do you recommend for breakups? So uh, after a breakup, if your heart is hurting, I would say come back queen. If you need to break up, no more assholes. It'll give you the strength to, to pull through with it because you can see the other side. Why doesn't he want to commit to me? Because it's so much easier to just have sex and, and not be responsible for wanting to build a life with you. Uh, do, 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 do. My best friend hates my boyfriend. How do you navigate that? Kate, Caitlin, Kay, you want to come do a live with me? I don't want to go back. I just don't understand. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Xavier and Kate, Kate, Kath, 
Xavier and Kev, either of you want to come live with me? You're so welcome, love. My boyfriend of four years refuses to chase me when I look when I took a break when he was in the wrong. What do I do? Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Get over him. Get no more assholes. Define your next relationship. Stop. Like he was in the wrong and you left him, but you want him to come get you. Um, so you didn't actually leave him. You were just being manipulative, which is why you're not interesting. Because you're still hooked on to him. You still want him. He still knows that. So you're not appealing, right? Because... You know, oh, she's, she's just manipulating. She'll be back, right? So he's not coming to you. So you're, you're going to go to him. And he knows that eventually. So it's it's not appealing to, to guys to um, be chased. And he knows you're still chasing him, right? It's, it's not. and he knows you're still chasing him right it's evident in your text you are still chasing him uh my you know husband chased after me when i literally got over him like absolutely and he chased after me and i was like no because i literally got over him i was over it and i said no the man you are is no longer the man i want to be with so if you want to seem more appealing you actually have to genuinely get over the shit and Can you Hello, hear me? I can. How's the video? Oh, here? okay. Hi. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Oh, because I'm crying right now. So, like, I don't want to, you know, embarrass myself on your live. So, what's what's happening? Okay, so. Um... Uh-oh. Did, did we just... Huh? Oh, lovely. You're cutting out. I actually, I'm thinking that my my bandwidth isn't good for lives right now. You, you're cutting out. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'll be here later tonight. Okay, I'll be here. Okay. Bye, love. Okay, I'll close that. So, guys, hello, love. Um, tell me, is the video feed okay? Is the video okay? Is the sound okay? Thank you. That was the sign I need a bitter pill because I still have hope. Yes. Um, hello, Michelle. I love when you bring your viewers in. I love it too, but I'm, I'm thinking because I'm on early today. So this is probably like, you know, one of those peak times too when uh, people in my area are on their internet. Video is okay. Sound is okay. Okay. Probably like, you know, one of those peak times too when uh, people in my area probably internet video is okay sound is okay okay probably like you know one of those peak times too when uh, people in my area a hand security program uh, video sound looks good I can literally see where I'm draining him uh, why does my boyfriend talk to other girls rather than communicate to me about our problems uh, does he keep other girls around as ego strokes? Does he does he have other girls around that he flirts with? I love you and your videos. Thank you. So it, it could be that this is the kind of person who keeps these other girls around because they stroke his ego. He flirts with. I love you and your videos. Thank you. So it, it could be that this is the kind of person who keeps these other girls around because they stroke his ego. Um, in which case I would say dump the motherfucker because that's not a healthy relationship for you to be in. He likes the competition that each of you are, are, you know, vying for his attention. Um, and, and he keeps turning to these other girls because of the attention that he gets when he goes boohoo about his relationship problems. Uh... Uh, single mom ready to date wanting to get my head right from past relationships what book do i need you need no more assholes no more assholes is right up your alley my love why does my husband never keep his word when he says he's going to do something for me so because you had a boyfriend who didn't keep his word when he said he was going to do something for you and then you marry him and now you have a husband who doesn't keep his word when he says he's going to do something for you or maybe as your boyfriend <clears throat> maybe as your boyfriend he did some of the things 
and you thought as a husband he would do more of the things and then he started doing less of the things but i'm fairly i am you know listen i don't know without having a conversation with you but likely this pattern existed before you married him and now you have a husband who does this um if you want me to help you through this you would need to get a coaching session there's a lot of things i need to ask a lot of uh, questions I need to ask in order to unpack the situation and better understand it to like really give you uh, you know precise advice and a plan but generally speaking if you have a husband that's a problem it's because you had a boyfriend that was a problem and then you married him <clears throat> how do you help encourage someone to deal with past trauma so they can be healthier you make it a requirement if they're if, if them not dealing with their trauma is having a negative effect on your relationship, you say, I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't deal with their issues and as a result, our relationship suffers. Uh, so if you don't find a way to manage your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors so that our relationship can be healthy, this isn't the relationship for me because I don't want to be in a relationship. Relationship can be healthy this isn't the relationship for me because I don't want to be healthy. This isn't the relationship for me because I don't want to be in a relationship. Relationship can be healthy. This isn't the relationship for me because I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody. Don't men like being chased because they're hunters? Because they would because they'd rather earn men. So here's the thing: there's guys who are selfish short-term thinkers. There's men who are generous long-term thinkers. Guys are lazy. Men are hardworking. Guys want you to give it to them. Men want to earn it. So if you want a guy, do all the work and chase after him. You'll get him because it's like, yeah, girl, you're right up my alley. If you want a man, you let him earn you because they feel like I have this because I worked for it and I take pride in that. <clears throat> Why do men need space? Um, because their brains are not the same as ours. We, you know, listen, we were coded to survive in a jungle, right? So early Homo sapien was the evolutionary, um, you know, what we were before this. We were early Homo sapien, now we are Homo sapien. Uh, and so when you think about how we survived in the jungle, we did some roaming around. We actually did take space from each other because we would each take separate roles in order to achieve separate things to come together and share the bounty of the labor that we put into that day. So it's natural for us to be individual and then come back together and share. So it's natural for us as women too. Like I love the fact that my husband works so hard, like 80, 200 hours a week. I'm like, that gives me space to do my thing. Um, so, you know, it, sometimes it takes space right beside us they'll go into their you know what we were go into their heads they'll go into their own place and it's okay for us to be beside them and be quiet is it true that exes come back not all uh what do you do when your boyfriend wants work 60 hours a week and can't make time for anyone you say, wow, you're so amazing for being so hardworking, um, for, you know, like being somebody who's smart enough to use their youth and their body and their strength while they can so that they can take it easy later on. I'm very proud of you for being that type of man. I appreciate you for being so hardworking. I appreciate you for being sacrificing, for sacrificing time today in order to have a more relaxed time tomorrow because who wants to be in their 70s and still working? when you know because they just worked 35 hours a week in their 20s 30s and now they're in their 70s going hmm, i still have to work 25 30 hours a week in order to make ends meet because i didn't do that over time and have money in the bank i love that you're so forward thinking um I, you know thank you for including me in your life so i can share this with you down the road i am ready willing and able to sacrifice alongside you and and sacrifice time today for more time tomorrow a, a better quality time tomorrow that's how i would deal with that um and fill my time up fill, fill my 60 hours a week up right so how are you going to fill up your 60 hours a week
Is there a way to fix resentment? Yes, there is. Uh, you can dive in to fix that shit, do what's in that book, or you can come get coaching. It is a process. What's the perfect age to begin dating? You can start dating now, my love. Uh, you, 1984, I did. You can start dating now, but never, ever, ever, ever let anybody push you beyond your pace. You get to set your pace. You get to say, I'm not going any further than this. Um, I'm not comfortable with this. I want this to stop. When I was like, like I started having boyfriends when I was, you know, 13, 14, right? Um, we would, like, I'd be three months in and then, thank you for the rose. I'd be three months in and I'd be like, mm, he wants to go further and I'm not ready. And I would call him and break up. I broke so many hearts because I, I'd be with a guy for three months and then I'd break up with him. Um, so set your pace, set your pace. You can start dating whenever you want, but don't do anything you're but don't do anything you're not. And did I cut out at all you guys? Uh, so if you're dating and you want to overcome social anxiety, no more assholes is going to help you do that. Three months, I'd be showing you the doors in three days. And you know what I'd say to that? I'd be grateful. I would be so grateful. I would be so grateful. I want you to show me who you are. I want you to show me that you don't care about me. I would be so grateful. I want you to show me who you are. I want you to show me that you don't care about me. Because if I were to kiss you and show me who that out, like I'd fuck myself up, right? So I'm definitely introducing the no kissing for three months dating rule because I want to know that you're that type of guy. So thank you for telling me that. Uh, I'm into my book, my first book. I love it. Yay. Yay. Do, 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 do. Yay. Do, do, do. Yay. Do, 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 do. Why am I so scared of my boyfriend leaving despite him doing nothing to suggest that? Uh, so you are, hello love, you are suffering from insecurity. Your imagination is getting away from you. Uh, this is exactly what I designed my No More Insecurity program for, to get you out of your head into reality and, and really leaning into functional behaviors that are gonna reduce your stress, fear, and anxiety and eliminate the spin that happens in your mind that has you vomiting destructive behaviors into your relationship. Uh, I'm finding it difficult to be friends with my girlfriend whose husband isn't faithful. So, and does she know? Uh, does she know? Does she know? And is that why you're having difficulty doing that? Because you you wouldn't take that in a relationship and you're angry at her, like you're angry on her behalf. Um, and you, you want her to behave the way you would in that situation. Or is it just that she talks about it too much and it's getting boring? But uh, the program was the No More Insecurity program. You'll find the button to that in the link tree in my bio. Uh, she knows and seems to be, seems to keep forgiving as in like he's a serial cheater and she keeps forgiving him cheating on her. Um, so, you know, it sounds like you're feeling frustrated. Uh, and what you can do is have, hello, Nikki dogs. So happy to see you during the work. Yes. Um, so you sound frustrated, right? You can set a boundary. Like we are not going to talk about this. We'll talk about anything else, but I just can't talk about this with you. Um, but you know, you, you have every right to set your environmental boundary. Sarah 
So, uh, yeah, okay, Xavier, he cheated because I was too controlling, but he was a cheater and I kept forgiving him. So he cheated, he was a cheater, I kept forgiving him. So all this means he cheated multiple times. Uh, I wouldn't, like, I, I don't know what you're saying to yourself, but um, I, you know, we, there's a lot to unpack here, my love. There's a lot to unpack, a lot to unpack. Yeah. How do I not get wrapped up in a connection? Every everything seems to lose its excitement. You're not using a no kissing for three months dating rule, my love. Um, so you know, here's the thing. Um, you don't need to take responsibility for other people's behaviors. I suspect the reason why you were controlling was because he was seeking the attention of other girls and you were trying to put a stop to that. In essence, your decision to get into a relationship with somebody who was seeking the attention of other girls and then trying to get them to be the committed person you were looking for was the problem more than anything. The coaching was so helpful. Talked about advice with my boyfriend and I have a plan for my vomiting. Yay, my love. Good, good, good. That's what it comes down to. What should you expect in a relationship needs wide? Um, so you obviously you want to come in with your with your values, right? Your fundamental values. Um, I want to be in a relationship with somebody who's faithful. I want to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't seek the attention of other women, right? So Xavier, stop taking seriously, just you need to take responsibility for your decisions, right? You decided to get in a relationship with somebody who was a guy, a selfish short term thinker. You, you need to accept that that's what you did and tell yourself, the only thing I'm going to focus on is not doing this again. So you're going to get no more assholes. You're going to read this book. You're going to do what's in this book. You're going to find your next relationship following the steps in this book. You're going to stop looking backwards at him. You're going to go, fuck that. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. You're going to get over this and start looking forward and use some new behaviors in order to get a different type of relationship. Because if you got in a relationship with somebody like this and you keep wanting this person, it's because there's a pattern inside of you of seeking dysfunctional, of seeking people who aren't fully paying attention to you, of seeking people who don't love you properly. This is a pattern that needs to break. You can dive into No More Assholes to help yourself break that pattern. You've helped me so much. Thank you. You're so welcome. So what you, should, what you should expect in a relationship, first of all, use a no kissing for three months dating rule. Make sure you know who somebody is before you get in a relationship. Ah, oh, booking a session right now, amazing, lovely. Make sure you follow all the steps. There's three steps to book a session. Uh, the books and coaching from Chantal work. Thank you, my love. Um, so know if your fundamental values align first, right? I wanna be monogamous, so do you. Okay, that's aligning. I want to get married. So do you. Okay, that's aligning. I want to have children. So do you. That's aligning. So you have to make sure that you are aligned on the necessities before you even kiss this person. All this takes time to figure out because there's a difference between what people say and what they actually are. No, I don't seek the attention of other girls. Oh, look at you. Look at you on Instagram. Look at you on Snapchat. Making all these new girlfriends all the time. Look at you always running off to another girl's house every time I don't pay you the attention you want at the particular hour that you want it on. Look at you not being available for me when I say I want to see you. I see you. Okay, goodbye, motherfucker. You really want to use that time to make sure that they're not just saying what you want to hear in order to get with you. Ah, uh, Michelle, mom, why do you collect all those books behind her? <laughs> What's your answer, Michelle? How do you know if a relationship is going to be a long-term thing? If you use a no kissing for three months dating rule and they stick around and they they stay, they stick around and, and they show you who they are. Um, that's a really good indicator. It's so hard to do the three month rule as a teenager, but I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> What's your three month rule as a teenager, but I don't want to get hurt. Like it's hard. You remind yourself of your intent and you make your behavior match it. I feel like it's hard. 
but I'm going to resist. I feel like it's hard, but I'm going to sit back instead of move forward. I feel like it's hard. I'm going to turn my head away and not do it. Seriously, I've done the no kissing for three months dating rule. I've been really attracted to somebody, like dating somebody. This guy was driving two hours to come and see me. Um, he was fantastic. He was a main role. I've been really attracted to somebody, like dating somebody. This guy was driving two hours to come and see me. Um, he was fantastic. He was amazing. We would, I was driving to in my, like spontaneous slow dancing in my kitchen. Like it's, it was, it's, he was super sweet. He was amazing. Um, and, and I started moving in for kisses, but I turned my head at the last second, like, oops, right? Oops. I was having these oops moments. So it's okay to have those oops moments. Uh, where you turn away at the last second because you're like, oh, oh no, <laughs> actually, I'm, I'm doing a no kissing and it's not the date yet. No kissing rule. When the guy think he's in the friend zone, no, nope. <laughs> actually, I'm, I'm doing a no kissing and it's not the date yet. No nope. <laughs> rule. When the guy think he's in the friend zone, no, nope. <laughs> actually, I'm, I'm doing a no kissing and it's not the date yet. No kissing rule. Do it without communicating anything. You literally say, I like you. I want to see where this goes, but I'm not kissing anybody I don't know because I'm choosing a long-term committed relationship. I need to know who the person is before I choose them for that partner. So I think three months is not too long, not too short. Uh, and no kissing doesn't mean no affection, right? But affection is something that happens because you feel warm and fuzzy, not because it's required. Our dating culture right now requires a kiss by the fourth date so you don't feel like you're friend zoned right so you're not getting a kiss because she knows you're amazing you're not getting a kiss because you made her feel warm and fuzzy you're not getting a kiss because she understands who you are and really genuinely likes you you're getting a kiss because our culture says if you don't kiss by the fourth date there's something wrong i say fuck that we need to throw that out the window because it's stupid. I'm picking my future husband, the future father of my child, the person that I'm going to buy a house with, a $400,000 house with, I'm going to sign a mortgage with you. And, and I, I'm going to know you four days before I pick you for that. That's insane. I'm not doing that. I'm not subscribing to it. And if you are going to have an ego vomit and be upset because I want to get to know you before picking you to be like my future husband, Go, because your ego is too frail. Your manhood is too frail. I want a man who wants to show me he's a man. So if you want to give me a chance to get to know you so that I can see that you're a man, I'm down. But if you don't like that I need to see who you are first, bye. I'll wait for the one who's like, you know, into me. What counts as kissing? Kissing is the lips coming together. I'm too old to not put out on the fourth date. Boo boo, you do you. You do you. I don't care. It's, it's, it's seriously like it's all good. There's tons of people out there. Tons of people. I've used this rule. People will wait. If they want a relationship and they're interested in me, they say no problem. And I, I coach people through this all the time. Men who want a relationship, who are interested in her, say, no problem. What drove you to this field? Did you suffer in your personal dating life? Yeah, I did. My mom was abusive, so guess what I did? I picked myself an abusive guy, and then I picked the cheaters, and then I picked the great man, but I was the wrong person because I hadn't fixed my own shit. So, yeah, that's, that's my superpower is been there, done that, experienced it, know what it's like, understand what it takes to get out of it. What makes you such an expert in this field? So my experience plus my education, sociology, psychology, anthropology, biology, behaviorism, spirituality, started with philosophy. Uh, no kissing, no sleepovers. That's right, Michelle. You're allowed to give each other affection. Exactly. But affection is earned. Affection is earned because you show up, because you're consistent, because you listen to the words coming out of my mouth. You apply the knowledge that you've learned. 
Um, we get along, we're compatible. The things we talk about, they line up. You introduce me to the people in your life. I like them. They're a reflection of you. How do you tell guys you're no longer interested in them when you're getting to know them? Uh, so it's, it's a simple conversation, right? Um, hey, I just want to let you know, it's been really great getting to know you conversation, right? Um, hey, I just want to let you know, it's been really great getting to know you conversation, right? Um, hey, I just want to let you know, it's been really great getting to know you really great getting to know you You must dating role because the only criteria is am I attracted to you? And do I trust you? If I'm looking for a relationship, like seriously, if you're looking for a future husband or baby daddy, what do you need in this partner, right? Like it should be a longer list than the guy you're gonna hook up with. Hello, Vietnam. Nothing wrong with hookup culture. I feel like maybe my feed isn't good right now. Hello, Vietnam. Nothing wrong with hookup culture. Do, do. Uh, I, I do think Tinder is a good place to find a wife or husband. Boyfriend promised to get me something and he initiated it, but he didn't. Should I ask? It was such a big deal. He, well, he said he would. So yeah, absolutely ask for it. If your boyfriend mocks you after you told him various times to stop, what would you do? I'd say it's really unfortunate that you don't respect the words that come out of my mouth and i'm really not feeling like this is the relationship for me especially after a heated conversation so how about you get rid of the conflict instead of you're looking at the symptom of the disease the disease is the conflict the symptom is what he does you're focused on the symptom but not focused on reducing the conflict if you actually want to reduce the conflict get fix that shit instead of turning lightning rods you know making a lightning rod out of the symptom oh you did this right well, okay, but can we get rid of the conflict so that you stop going, you did this and, and stop setting yourself up to try and feel right about what happened between the two of you. And if the reason for the conflict is that he's an asshole, he's a selfish short-term thinker, you need to get rid of the selfish short-term thinker and get in a relationship with a generous long-term thinker. So if you're with a selfish short-term thinker, dump the motherfucker, get no more assholes, get a generous long-term thinker. If you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you, get fixed that shit. Yes, you're on, I need help. Is it bad to hook up on the first date? If you want a relationship, you didn't actually get to know the person. So what just happened here? Like what just happened? Did you literally just go to a complete stranger and go, I'll pick you to be my future husband. Let's get started now, right? Like is that, is that what you did? Or are you just out for play? If you're just out for play, hooking up on the first date doesn't matter. Shouldn't I say sorry as a guy if I did nothing wrong? My girlfriend insists I have to say sorry. So here's the thing. Did you actually literally do nothing wrong? Or is there something you have to apologize for? Here's the thing. Did you actually literally do nothing wrong? Or is there something you have to... Maybe you raised your voice. Maybe you said some things you shouldn't say. So if there's anything for you to take responsibility for, then take responsibility for it. So for those of you who are in a long distance relationship, I actually have a long distance guide for you in the link tree in my bio. It's a free download. Go ahead and go grab it. How to move on from an ex you want to grab come back queen uh that is the book that's really going to help you uh get over your last relationship we're not dating but are exclusive so so he's he gets to have uh all the sex he wants um sure exclusive that's fun do you know what that means convenient uh conveniently you're put conveniently your vagina isn't going anywhere else 
right? So that's really convenient for him because he doesn't have to worry about anybody else coming and taking his place. He gets to have you whenever he wants to, but you're not dating. In other words, you're not in a relationship. So he gets the convenience without the responsibility. So lucky him, but what about you? What do you want? Do you want a relationship? Are you playing the hoping game, hoping the convenience you're giving him is gonna turn this into a relationship one day? that's going to be on your disappointment if he says, you know, when you come to me six, eight months, a year and go, uh, no relationship yet. And I'm like, yeah, girl, because you played the hoping game. Um, you played this silly little game where he gets to use these little words that make you feel like you're going somewhere like dating or talking stage but no you know we're, we're we're in the talking stage we're exclusive we're in the talking stage but we're not dating yet and by the way dating doesn't necessarily make commitment because dating is to like you know seeing where things go so you're playing this hoping game you're playing his game instead of getting what you want do you want a relationship if you want a relationship it's time for you to go to him and say i'm done my play time I'm looking for a committed long-term relationship. I'm using a no kissing for three months dating rule to get there. I'm going to give you the first chance to get into a relationship with me since I'm attached with you at this point. But if you're not ready for a relationship, it's time for me to disengage from this so that my space is clear for the person who does want to get into a relationship with me. I... I just finished fixed session. I'm so ready to practice everything I read. Thank you. You're so welcome. I love this too. I've, I've gotten better to asking for what I need instead of projecting and expecting him to know. Thank you. You're so welcome. Being the expert you are, would you mediate your own kids' relationships? No. Uh, no, because here's the thing. Uh, like my own kids, my own kids. Well, I'm an expert, so yes. Um, and here's why. I can be unbiased, right? I can be unbiased. Um, but if my, hello from Austria, um, if, if my kids were picking selfish short-term thinkers, I wouldn't be unbiased. I'd, I'd be like, why are you being so dumb? Like, why are you not, you know, why are you not picking yourself a generous long-term thinker? How did I fail you that you think this is what you deserve? You're so welcome. I should have screen recorded. You guys are cute. This will be posted on my YouTube channel, you guys. Uh, is it bad for my boyfriend to be looking at girl only fans but didn't lie when I asked? That's up to you. If this bothers you, then have that standard in your relationship. I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who seeks the attention of other girls. And that's the thing about only fans. It's interactive. It's not, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? anonymous it's not anonymous so if that bothers you and you have every right to be bothered by it um you can say i love that you are honest with me i really appreciate that um i'm okay with you consuming that kind of uh you know media but i need you to do it in an anonymous way and not be interacting with other girls hello Yes, the book to deal with a breakup is Comeback Queen. Does anybody want me to do a book walkthrough? Book walkthrough. Mm. Do we have newbies? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Where are my newbies at? Say, here I am. Where are my newbies at? Say, here I am. Yes, you're going through that with your son. Where are my newbies at? Yes. Do, 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 do. do a book walk through. Book walk through. Here I am. Hello, lovely. Uh, those of you who want a notification when I go live, I'm loosey goosey on my times, so uh, I can pop up anytime. Um, I usually pop up later at night, but I'm um, going viral right now. I thought I'd do something, uh, you know, today. I'm in the middle of editing a book right now too. So, uh, so those of you who want a notification when I go live, here's what you're going to do. Click my picture up here once or twice. I love your energy. Thank you. 
you're going to get a pop-up in the pop-up is a bell click on the bell when you do that say i just did bestie he said he would hang out with me if he felt like it and i didn't hear from him why are you like all in on somebody who is inconsistent by the way why are you not talking to multiple people at the same time why do you think you should only talk to one person at a time because when you talk to more than one person at a time when somebody does shit like this it doesn't bother you it's like oh okay noted noted but you're not so hung up on this one person coming through for you and being the one that you're disappointed you're just like mm -hmm noted okay and you compare their behavior to the other people you're talking to struggling with boundaries any ideas books to read or podcasts all of it uh are you single no more assholes are you in a relationship fix that shit what's your next book about i'm writing two so uh the one that i'm almost done right now is the perfect play um oh mama that's so good Thank you always for your time. You're so welcome. Okay, guys, uh, book walkthrough from my newbies. My new plan. I need more attention and um, doing more things. So I don't know if you're with a generous long-term thinker or a selfish short-term thinker. If you guys want clarity on your situation, if you need an assessment on your relationship, uh, you need a plan on how to make things better, come get a coaching session. You can get the, you know, like you can do that through the link in my bio. There's a button in there for coaching. Make sure you follow the three steps to book yourself in for a session. My two year anniversary is coming up. My boyfriend said he doesn't want to celebrate it. Uh, does he do anything for you on a weekly basis? How long does he usually take you to write a book? Uh, about three months. You're definitely a single. No, I'm actually definitely married. Well, thank you. Uh, okay, come back clean. This is the book that's going to help you get over a breakup. This is a book that helps you get over like douchebag guys who leave snarky trolley comments. Um, come back and say more, man. Give me like a, just a really good reason to boot you off. I want it. Give me a good reason to block you. Um, so after come back clean, you're going to read uh, No More Assholes. This is the one that's going to help you make sure you choose the right partner. Would you ever do a coaching session giveaway? I do coaching session giveaways every single month on Instagram, you guys. So go follow me on Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram. And uh, the actually, the coaching session giveaway is coming up uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Coach, the coaching session giveaway is coming up tomorrow, so make sure you go follow me today. Go take part in the giveaway today. After the first kiss, this is the book that helps you make sure you make it work when you find that generous long-term thinker that you hooked with no more assholes. You don't want to keep bouncing in and out of relationships. Once you find a good one, it's time to like make it work. It means you got to get through some insecurities. So this is going to help you transition from courtship phase to reality phase. Thank you, my love. Uh, Fix That Shit is the book that's going to help you put an end to all the fighting and conflict in your relationship. Uh, maybe your relationship just started, maybe you're 20 years in. If there's fighting in your relationship and both of you are generous long-term thinkers who love each other, this is the book that's going to help you fix that. Custom Made goes really well with Fix That Shit. By the way, Fix That Shit is now an audiobook. You can find it in the link to my bio. Custom Made answers two questions. Custom Made answers two questions. What is my talent? What am I here for? What is my purpose? If you're upset that your boyfriend doesn't spend all his free time with you you have my hair much time on your hands so get into your purpose because you will be excited to have time to dive into what you are made to do your talent i also teach you how to monetize it so you literally start getting paid doing what you love uh fake love you not apply guys this is the ebook is free in the link tree in my bio it says free book this is how to avoid posers losers scammers and predators uh, dating 101, textbook, understanding the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind love. There is no swearing in this book. Say yes to goodness. Uh, this is about living, understanding the 10 areas of your life that affect you and how you can have the right perspective. How long is the audiobook? I literally have no idea. Uh, anybody here listen to Fix That Shit audiobook? 
Anybody here listen to Vixa Shit audiobook? Uh, can't find the book under the free book in your link tree. Like you don't see the button that says free book. Do, 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 do. When on a third date, he said if he saw his ex again, he would fall in love. Think he was joking? No, he's not. Listen to the words coming out of his mouth. Listen to the words coming out of his mouth. Uh, don't don't dismiss what he says. Actually, pay attention. So, what are my qualifications? Uh, Award-winning life coach, deep study into sociology, psychology, anthropology, biology. I also never ask people to do anything I've never done myself. In other words, things I teach people how to overcome are things I've actually overcome. Uh, don't see the button. Okay, I, I don't know why. Let me see. Do 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 do. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Is this might make my video skip for a second. I see a free book button right there. Free book. I don't know why you don't see it, my love. Colleen. So we're questioning, Colleen, are you on my live right now? Uh, yeah, I don't know why you don't see it, love, because I see it on my end. Should I ask him if he's over her or just stop seeing him? He's literally told you. No, you don't need to ask him if he's over her. You asking this question means you didn't listen to what he said, right? So first, you're going to listen to what he said, but dismiss it. You're, you're going to say, no, 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 it's not what he means, right? You're going to listen to what he said, but you're not going to hear it. So then there's that. Then you're going to listen to what he said and then question him on what he said because you didn't hear what he said. Hear what he says. Listen to the words coming out of his mouth. This is where we get ourselves in trouble. We don't listen to the words coming out of their mouths and tell ourselves a different story. Don't tell yourself a different story. Don't think you need to double back and say, did you actually mean that? He told you what he thought. Listen to the words coming out of his mouth. Don't worry, she lives in another country. Great, great. Oh, what if she decides to move back? Like, do you want to be in a relationship with somebody who would take his ex back in a second? So what are you? Are you a filler? Is that it? Is, is he just lonely? Because he hasn't gotten over his last relationship. Hello, love. Don't worry, she lives in another country. I'm starting to get the feeling. I'm really starting to get the feeling. Uh, really starting to get the feeling that guys are using exes as a way to make us think they could fall in love with us. I'm really thinking this is a pickup artist trick. When your book is finished, would it look bad if it just showed up on the coffee table? Not at all. Best book for insecurity? All of them. Because your security and confidence is key in your relationship. I address insecurity in all of my books. Um, uh, so, yes. Um, uh, I needed that honesty, yes. I'm always here for the honesty. Always. I feel like I was saying something and then I sidetracked myself. Uh, I think that's true for using their ex to get you. Yes, that's what I was saying. Thank you. You just reminded me. I'm reading Fix That Shit right now, and I'm on chapter seven. I love it. I love it. I haven't watched your lives in a while. So have you any workshops coming up? N not quite yet. I'm not quite, quite, quite yet because I'm so busy writing books right now. Um, so here's the thing. Not quite, quite, quite yet because I'm so busy writing books right now. Um, so here's the thing, ladies. If a guy, t If a guy talks to you about a past relationship and like how great it was and how deep it was, 
and how romantic it was and how into her I was. And it was like, you know, a greatest love kind of thing. I'm starting to think that guys are using this to to kind of make you think, oh, maybe he'll love me that much too. And sort of use it as a hook. I don't know if I'm asking for too much. I would use fix that shit as a guide. Uh, what is a great acts of service thing to blow a man away? So for men whose love language is acts of service, typically they don't ask for much. So the moment they ask for something, always say yes. So I love your videos from Nebraska, USA. Um, so with my husband, like every day I'll say, baby, is there something you want me to do for you? Um, and if he starts to ask me to do something, I'm saying yes. Like before, before his, his, um, sentence is over, I'm saying yes. Should you ever take back a cheater? It depends. If you're wondering if you should take back a cheater, come get a coaching session because it depends. Uh, my trauma, my boyfriend talked about the past, but how much trauma he went through, how she tried to ruin his life. Good. See, that's the conversation I like, right? That's if if it's if it's just romanticized, I think it's one of these. Uh, don't fall for it. Um, but if it's balanced, like there was some good, but there was some bad too, and this is why it didn't work and I'm happy I'm out of it, you're getting the truth. The, so a balanced reality is the truth, but just romanticize, uh-uh. He just wants you to think, oh, he's so loving, he's so kind, he's so caring, he's so deep, he's so emotional, uh, and hope that you're going to get that from him too. Uh, so am I overreacting? I don't know, my love. I can't. Uh, oh, wish I, so I don't know, uh, you would need to get a coaching session because, uh, I need to unpack a situation in order to actually understand it. Cause I, I don't have, um, you know, something that, that tells me the depths of the behaviors in your relationship. I really do need to unpack all the behaviors that are going on. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. I do. <clears throat> uh, I need help dealing with my in-laws. They're not my cup of tea. My love, why did you get into a relationship with somebody who had problematic family members like that? Those of you who want a notification when I go live, click my picture up here once or twice, you're going to get a bell. When you click on the bell, say I just did. So do take a minute at some point to go into your settings on TikTok and turn on your notifications there. Also go into your settings on your phone and turn on your notifications there too. Tips to stop suppressing your feelings. So. Uh, I would get into fix that shit because it does teach you how to manage your feelings or you can come get a coaching session. Um, but like working through your feelings is actually a, a process. Um, so that's one of those things. It's that it, it's a teachable thing, right? It's, it's not uh, like a quickie general answer. Colleen, are you on my live right now? That's so cute. My fiance had no. Is that you? Uh, my fiance had no relationship with him until their daughter, his sister died. I don't know what that's about, love. Uh, how long did you date your husband before getting married? So, uh, six years. Marnie just got an audio book. Come, come back queen be used for breakups as well or is it only for divorces? No, it's for breakup. I really regret using the word divorce in the title. Um, the reason why I did that is, um, the reason why I did that is because I had a lot of divorce women coming up and saying that I should write that book. So somebody about in-laws said, you love that person, not their in-laws. I see a lot of people coming to me because their in-laws are problematic. Like 
interference and there's interference because their partner doesn't set up boundaries and say no this is my family here you're my family there but i've you know as an adult i'm supposed to leave the nest and go create my own family so when your partner hasn't done that and and so it's like a threesome or a foursome because you're not in your relationship unobstructed you're being obstructed in your relationship by their family members that's the problem that you shouldn't have gotten into that was you know and this didn't happen after you got married this was happening before and for some reason you said to yourself well this will probably change after we get married and it didn't and so the problem persists so um that's you know absolutely like i i love my partner and it's it's about my partner and not his 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 mom right but his mom isn't a problem she's not interference in our relationship he was mad that i downloaded a dating app even though he still uses them and we're not exclusive so he is controlling he's a selfish short-term thinker as in not in a relationship not looking for a relationship but he wants exclusivity of you so he's controlling so he has to go it's that simple you don't get to say to me i don't want to be with you but i don't want you to be with anybody else you don't get to control my behaviors you don't get to monitor my behaviors you don't get to micromanage me you don't get to tell me what i do so he has to go because he gives himself all those permissions he has to go this is a selfish short-term thinker not a generous long-term thinker you can only change and control yourself yes follow the hose thank you carrie alex and i tell alex followed the hose thank you do you think people should disclose divorce status prior to a first date prior during you know sure if it's here's the thing they don't need to disclose it right not everybody's assuming that that's of interest to you right so uh if you want to know somebody's marriage status before you meet them for a first date make sure you ask that question but don't say they're supposed to read your mind and know this is important information to you and they better say it before they meet you for a first date otherwise you put them in the doghouse because that's not fair where were you six years ago i've learned so much from you this year i love you thank you my love thank you for that clarification you're welcome what's a healthy balance between someone enjoying their life separate from you and just not making time uh, a healthy balance that's a good question um i mean it really it's it's like what do you know about them right do you know how much they work uh guys you can go watch the replay on my youtube channel just make sure you notice the top and then go find the replay that has the same outfit if you're looking for me to uh repeat something um so look at their look at the realities of your life no i'm married no i'm married no i'm married uh look at the reality that's uh, i'm not a single dating coach that's what i'm, I'm married uh look at the reality that's uh, i'm not a single dating coach that's what makes me different I'm so tired like i'm gonna teach you how to find the right partner great how'd you find yours oh, i'm single oh you're, you're gonna teach me something you haven't accomplished okay uh i'm gonna teach you how to find the partner that you're gonna be in a long-term loving relationship with great who's yours oh i don't have one you're gonna teach me something you haven't learned how to accomplish yet tell me again why i'm supposed to make you my role model i don't get it um i don't get it i don't get it so healthy balance what is their life how much do they work how much time are they spending with their friends what are they doing when they're spending time with their friends is it outdoor activities or is it just sitting around and drinking
boyfriend in a depressed dark place has been silent over a week what should i do take care of yourself my love detach your emotional roller coaster from his ride i asked if they smoke drink relationship status any kids i said her prior to first date there you go i feel this uh, uh i feel that has never been married no kids it's pretty important to me there you go so make sure you ask it uh, make sure you ask it. Guys, I'm going to head out. I got to do some more work on my book. Um, oh, look at this. I've made it to almost a month without anxiety attacks in my relationship because of you, Olivia. I love it. Love it, you guys. Listen, listen. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I've been through the de depression. I've been through anxiety. I've chosen the wrong partners. I've made it work. I've gotten out of years of fighting into years without fighting. I know what I'm talking about. You're so welcome. Good luck with your book. Thank you. Um, break up sandwich. This is why you're great. This is why it's not working. This is why you'll be great for someone else. Uh, do make sure you go get my books on Amazon or anywhere you buy books online. Uh, I do have eight books. If you don't know where to start, there is a what book is right for me quiz in the link tree in my bio. If you want an audiobook, Fix That Shit is available, but only through the link tree in my bio. I do have free stuff for you in the link tree in my bio. There's a free book button. There's a free long distance relationship guide button. There's a meditation resource button. It's gonna get you started on meditation. Go to my Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Go take part in the giveaway because we're doing a draw tomorrow for a free one hour coaching session. Mwah! I love you guys. Make sure you follow me, click that follow button. Click the follow button, click it twice if you want to, if you want a notification when I pop up. When you do that, say I just did. I just did. Say I just did. Okay, thanks. Tony Matter followed the host. Thank you. So much goodness. So much goodness. So much goodness, my loves. I'll probably be back again later on tonight. They are literally working. I'll probably be back again later on tonight. They are literally working in front of my house to put the wires in to wire me up for better internet. Guys, 100 megabytes per second upload and download. I am losing it. I am so excited. My imagination is going wild. All the things I can do. So